Good morning, Lisa Skoll, Executive Leader with Avon here this morning, and we're having some coffee with my Vegas mug. Pretty excited about that. It's a nice big mug. I made sure to pick a nice big mug when I picked it out. First of all, let's start off with our um, our thing for today, and that is Friends Don't Let Friends Buy Makeup at Department Stores. Right? <laughs> so, I asked... Um, some to anybody who was interested you can do it now i guess and i'll try to catch it in the feed i'm going to bring up facebook on my computer computer so that i can read some of them and i really yeah jessica good morning you're first <laughs> i'm early i have a lot to do today but i wanted to come this morning and um touch on some of the things that i keep seeing that i feel we really need to um we really need to talk about these things because it's important. It's important. I want you guys to get, I want you guys to get off this stuff, okay? First off, um, I seen, oh, I got to bring my thread up. Hold on. I asked for some things. Okay. I seen, what can I help you guys with? What are we not crushing this morning? What are we, what are we stuck on that we can't, that we can't crush? Um, my girl Vicky wants to talk about follow-up. I have um, some things about getting orders out, calling customers, um, that outlet book, which, you know, Marjorie, I'll get on that one. I'm so excited that Amanda, she did. I watched that video. Great job. Great job. Um, you know what? Videos aren't hard, you guys. Just got to talk to everybody. Share something. You don't even have to have an agenda. Sometimes you just want to, you know put out there how your day was. This business is part of our day. So sometimes it's fun just to share how our day is, right? But um, I want you all to, to, to notice something. See this thing in the back? This it, it attaches right here to your neck. It goes all the way down to you. But this thing, it's called a backbone, okay? I want you all to feel it right now. You see this right here? Yep, feel it. Oh, it's there. Can you feel yours? Okay, it's there. That's your backbone. You are in a business, I should hope, to make money. So unless this is your hobby and you're just here to, to hobby it, you're here to make money. I, um, I want you to start doing that. And I want you to start treating it like that. And I want everybody in your family will start and your friends and your customers will all treat it as such as well. You're not going to lose them, okay? You're not going to be all crappy with them, and you're not going to be mean about it. You're going to be firm, and you're going to just put your rules in place for your business. That's going to help you to be successful. I see that, you know, it's hard to get up every day, and it's hard to get out there, and it's hard to say, this is, I'm going to work my business today. I'm going to get up there. I'm going to go out. I'm going to make some money. What do I want to do today to go out and do that? Well, first of all, always have brochures ready, okay? So if you're working, have those ready the night before so they're ready to take. Don't take extra time up in the morning. Get that stuff ready ahead of time. Have the brochures. Have a pin. Have your shirts on that tell them they can't go to the store and buy your makeup. They got to get it from you. Do whatever it is. And then what I will do sometimes is strategically change my route. So if I'm going somewhere, and we all do it, get in the car, same way to school, same way to the grocery store, same way. Go some way different, okay? Go get lost if you have to. That's even funner yet. Go find a new neighborhood. Go find something that, you know, is you, a store you don't normally go to. You always go to the same store. Go to a different store. You always go to the same bank. Go to a different bank. I want you to switch it up. This is your job to find new customers and prospects. You're not going to do that if you're talking to the same people every single day, okay? So make it part of your life. Switch it up a little. I mean, in the meantime, if you have a job, what I want you to do is I want you to take something to work with you that represents your business. First of all, you're going to have your face on. It's going to be Avon, right? Okay? Your lips going to be Avon. We're in that um, intense plum glaze wear of the day. Isn't it pretty? <laughs> um, switch it up. Do something different. And... Um, Take a holiday decoration, put it on your desk. How about that? Something that we're selling out of the holiday book. Put it on your desk. You're allowed to put stuff on your desk. Doesn't care where you're at. Say you work at a bank, you work somewhere, you have it, you know, get something that says Avon on it to hold your pens in. Advertise your stuff however you have to. Change it up, okay? Just little tips for you. And good morning, everybody. I'm just trying to get through the video so that I can get to my order before I have to go get this hair done. Because good Lord, 
got to get these roots done today. So I'm trying to get it done, but I say good morning to everybody soon. Set a schedule for yourself. How I set my schedule is I set it around everything else that's going on. So anything the kids have going on, when my order's coming in, um, if the orders are due, if I have to do a mailing, I set a time for it and it's all on my phone. Then I'm able to look the night before, the day before, the week before, and you're able to look and see how much time do I have? What am I doing again tomorrow? What do I want to bring out with me? What can I do that, you know, that's what you want to do, all right? That's how you set a schedule. If you had to, if you're not working and you had to go to a job, you would know you'd have to be up at 7, you'd have to be ready to leave by 8, you know that you'd have to do these things or you would lose your job, okay? Well, your business is no different. You have to be structured. Now, let's talk about these customers and not paying their orders and wanting a discount. First of all, let's just be clear. If you got people ordering and they're ordering from an outlet book, it clearly states on there, only while supplies last. Do not feel obligated to give anybody, family or not, a discount off a catalog that says only available as it, as supplies are here. That, that's just the way it is, okay? So if it's not in, it's not in. I just tell them that was a hugely popular item last year when it came out. Why don't you catch it in all the stuff in the regular Avon brochure when it first comes out and it has an introductory price. Grab it then. Never be without. That's what you do, okay? You bring them to the regular catalog. Only people that get that outlet book from me are customers that order on a regular basis and it goes in their thing and half of them don't even order all the time. And I don't tell them. It's not available. I'm sorry. Try to order it later. It might be in. But do not... I, you know, here's what I want you to do. I want you to go to the mall. And I want you to go into a store and I want you to go to their outlet rack, okay, that they mark things down 50, 90, 100%. I want you to, oh, you don't have a size medium in this top? Well, then I expect you to give me something off your regular top or maybe something else. And I want it for a discount now because you don't have my size. How ridiculous does that sound? <laughs> Do you think they're going to give you that? No, they are not going to do that for you. So honestly, you got to be, this is your business. Do not give that to people. That is no, 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 no. You give new customers a, a satisfaction coupon, you know, a new customer coupon, $5 off a $25 order. I give my my stuff, which I'm going to get to it. I know I promised y'all my $5 cash, Avon's cash for the holidays when it comes up. You know, they're going to earn, they earn that off their orders and then it comes off. So we're working together on a discount. Never feel obligated to give somebody a discount because something is not available or because you feel like. And again, and again, yep, got the coffee, Michael. <laughs> and again, when you're placing your order, do not tell your customers, okay, well, my order comes in on Tuesday, so I'm going to get it ready, and then I'm going to deliver it on Wednesday for you. Is that good? No. Mm -mm. No. Please, don't do that. But that is just setting yourself up for stress and failure. Never tell them when your order's coming in. If they're in a hurry for their Avon, and they say, well, is this going to be in by next week? You can say, well, yeah, it's probably going to, it'll be in next week. And I'm more than likely will have it delivered on Thursday. Can't make any promises yet until it comes in and I see how the order is. And of course I do have a life on top of it. And I have other Avon I have to do. I don't make promises. Okay. Then I'll tell them, so do you need it sooner? And if they do, I'm not sure if you realize that Avon has this cool thing for free. They give us, it's called a website. <laughs> they can go on that website and order it and have it in two days. You don't have to worry about it at all. So take advantage of these things. And if they don't have a computer and they're not computer illiterate, do it for them. So be happy to place that order for you off of my website. Give me one second. Bring it up. Put their information in. Get their payment information over the phone. Pay for it. Say it'll be there in two days. And we have this great code today. And you spent this much money. It's free shipping. You spent this much money. You're getting a free whatever. Use it to your advantage. But be a business-minded person when you're doing things. And don't give stuff away for free. Don't promise a delivery date. I have somebody who missed my deadline on Sunday. My order went in. Never left me a number to call him back. Wants to surprise his wife with a ring. I'm like, that's awesome, right? So when he finally did get a hold of me, again, no number for me to call him back the day my order's going in and I couldn't call the house because it's a surprise. So 
I waited, never heard from him. I think he called at like 10, 30, 11 o'clock. I'm not in my office at 10, 30, 11 o'clock. Order had already gone in anyways. So he called yesterday when I was sitting in my office and I answered it and I said, you know what? I said, I think that's great. When do you need this ring by? You said by the end of the month. Well, he needs it by like the 28th, I think it's her birthday. She loves the ring. I said, well, I can have it for you that Tuesday if my order comes in on time, but more than likely what I'm going to do is order it off my website so it's here for me so I can get it to him sooner. Why not, right? I got other orders people have to put in, so I might as well take advantage of it. Work your business the way it's going to work the best for you. That's all. I mean, that's what I got on it. I can harp on it for hours. I'm not going to, but I won't want you guys giving discounts. Now, if it, something gets messed up and you're waiting for something or you make a mistake, then absolutely. You know, throw in a free hand cream, $5 off their next order, but make sure you're making money. You need to think about what it would be like if you were in a store, if you were retail shopping, if something wasn't available, how do you get treated that makes you feel good? And I know I like it when they're just being nice. I like it when they're just being honest. I like when I go to the store and they're just, you know, they're not trying to sell me something and whatever, you know. So treat your customers the same way and they're going to love you and they're going to keep buying because they're going to love their Avon. So... We got some other things. We got, oh, Vicky, you want to talk about follow-up? Oh, follow-up, couldn't I couldn't even be more, more, I, I mean, talk to Teresa Paul about that. So I'm just telling you, follow-up couldn't be more important. If you're not following up, and now, I know y'all saying, I have a hard time calling my customers and following up. Why? Why are you having a hard time with that? I cannot tell you how pleasing it is to call and talk to people. It's going to take some time. Set some time aside. If you had a job, again, that required you to call people, you'd be calling them. Well, you have a business that requires you to call people. You need to get them on the phone, speak with them like, hello, you know, on the phone. I know you. some of them like to text better. Some of them, you know, that's, that's their line of communication and there's some out there like that. But there's a lot of them that like to hear from you. So pick up the phone, call your downline, call your customers. If they don't answer, text them because that's maybe the way they want to. Better yet, I've talked about it before. Ask them what they want. Do you want me to call you? Do you want me to text you? What's the best form of communication for you? And they'll let you know. And there's a lot of them that might tell you that, but it's still nice. I shared yesterday how I just got a hold of a customer. I get a hold of her on Facebook and I've reached out. I hadn't heard from her in a while. She placed an order. She loves when I do that. I have elderly customers. I love, if I don't hear from them, I'm gonna call them. Because I want to know what's going on. I mean, God forbid something should happen. That's our job as Avon reps. So, you know, we want to know what's going on. Pick up the phone. Don't be afraid. That's how you're going to make money. You are not going to make any money with this business sitting back, passing brochures out, and waiting for your phone to ring. It's going to take a long time. So if you have a long time to wait, then keep up the good work doing it. If not, get on the phone and follow up. Make a list. Set a day. Figure out when it's going to work out best for you to do that. That's the best thing you can do for your business. I mean, I can't even tell you. Um, I have a lot of things that come up with my business as far as deliveries go. Um, and a lot of it's because, you know, I have the leadership or I have reports and I have the downline and the, the things that I really want to, that I need to get to. And I have to find ways and days that I can get that in. So a lot of times this whole making deliveries thing for me it's a real, and I'm honest, I tell my customers, this is the day I'm going to make deliveries. Once I get that order put together, I mean, the last two cu couple campaigns, I mean, last campaign, I was at the fair. <laughs> that order came on Tuesday, I went to the fair on Wednesday. I was there Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. That order sat here in the boxes because I got home at nighttime. I was not going through those until I was done and I didn't even do it on Tuesday because I was exhausted. So Wednesday, last week, is when that got done. I do so it was like a whole week and a half later and some of my customers were actually worried. They were actually calling because it's much later than normal. Wasn't sure if you got that order. So I would call them back when I would be briefly, oh, I got it, it's here, I'm sorry, I'm at the fair. They understand, not a problem. This time, it's kind of going to be kind of on order. But when I get it ready and I call them, I don't ask them when they'd like me to deliver their Avon order. No. I haven't yet really found anywhere online or somewhere that when you put your orders in, they, they ask, when exactly is that best time of the day for me to drop this off? I'm going to let the UPS guy know, and I'm going to let FedEx know, and they're going to be there right then for you. So that's going to be great. <laughs> 
doesn't work out like that. So you need to put your schedule together and you need to say, okay, this is what I'm doing. I'm making deliveries on Thursday. You start making phone calls Wednesday night. You get them on the phone. You say you can be home. Here is your total. You know, I'm going to be there tomorrow. I'm probably going to be there. Are you going to be home in the daytime? Because I'm going to be there between 9 and 2. And they'll go, oh, well, if you can come at 10, that would be great. Because I say, well, I can't promise you 10. But if you have to leave, please leave that check on the door for me. I'd love to see you. But if I miss you, I don't want you inconvenienced. It's all about them, right? <laughs> That's how you make it sound. It's all about them. You just switch that around so it's all about them. Don't spend two weeks making deliveries. Don't, and hey, don't be giving anybody the rave on without getting that money. I don't care how related to them. I don't care how related to them you are. If they're paying for their orders, so unless it's my kids, like, and I'm buying it and they're not paying me for it and I'm giving them their stuff when it comes in, they're not getting their Avon until I get my money. They don't give me my money by the time I needed to put the order in or when I need to put it on my in my account or whatever. Again, selling it to somebody else and telling them so. I'm sorry, I can't hold on to your Avon any longer. I'm going to have to sell it. So did you really want this Avon order? Make a note and say to yourself next time, I don't place this order without half the payment or all payment up front. And you let them know that. You know, I want to service you as an Avon representative. And um, I love having you as a customer. And you're a great friend. But dude, can't be holding on to this stuff. <laughs> I'm trying to make some money here. Just put it out there. You know, there's other Avon reps. And sometimes it's no fun dealing with your friends. But don't let them hold up your business, okay? I want you guys to be crushing this stuff. I want you to be making the money that's out there to be made this holiday season. And I don't want to hear these excuses on here. I don't want to hear the people are paying for their orders. I don't want to hear ever giving a discount because, you know, something wasn't available. <laughs> that's just funny. And I do, if they do, use those examples. Say, I want you to go get something off the clearance rack. And then I want you to see if they'll give you something even cheaper on the regular rack because they don't have your size in that anymore. Everything in those outlet books, you guys, come out in our regular Avon books pretty much at that same price it's in that outlet book for. So if you actually pay attention, introductory prices, sometimes if they're in their warehouse a long time, they're really, it's discontinued, they're not carrying it anymore at all, they might be a little bit less, but the deals for the day, um, you'll see it in the Avon book when it first comes out, you'll see it in the demo. You can get those same prices. So if it's that important, don't they need to be paying attention to that catalog when it first comes out? So some of the things on my agenda, uh, of course, getting my hair done. So I'm going to get my little books ready for my salon that I'm going to. It's a different salon, so I'm pretty excited about it. So I'm going to be leaving some stuff for everybody. I have um, my order to put through today to get it invoiced and hopefully get it all packaged. So I had to get my doggy treats ready. I got my brochures ready to go yesterday. Some sample packs. Sample. Um, my sample club's probably going to get back and running again. Took a break from it for the summer. It was just too busy. So probably starting to work on that. We got all of our Christmas stuff coming up. All the holiday things to get ready for. It is just booming. So if you can't figure out what to do every day to make money, then you're not really using, using your imagination. <laughs> you need to get out there or you need to get busy, right? <laughs> so hopefully you're all going to have a fabulous Tuesday. I don't want to see none of this stuff on there that you guys aren't, you know, getting it done. I want to see how, how are these solutions coming up. And I probably got more stuff on here, but um, hosting Avon parties. I'm not going to get into that now, but I will, um, I'll do some more of that. My call is on Thursday night. I will have a live video on Thursday night at seven o'clock right here where you're at now and um and i probably will record it i'll remember to mute it this time so if you're ones that like to listen to it on there it was like really noisy last time so i will have it but we'll talk about hosting parties we'll talk about some facebook things you could be doing um online and stuff to help promote your sales as well and um uh, marcia you just have to get on my youtube channel honey I posted a video about that. I give treats to my doggies and my kitties. So um, all my customers that have animals get a little treat bag that says treats on it. And the labels for that's up in the group. So you're more than welcome to print that off. But it's nothing spectacular. But the kid, those doggies do love it and everybody appreciates it. You can do the same thing with kids. You know, if kids got a favorite little sucker or piece of candy and you know they're home with their mamas that day, stick something in the bag. They love that and make it personalized for them. You know, it's the little things that people do that really, that really go a long way. So 
Have a fabulous, fabulous day. Go out there, crush those challenges, get them out of the way. Whatever it is you're struggling with, I want you to try to do it today because I want to see you make some money, right? Because that's what we're doing this business for, to make some money. <laughs> so let's get it done. Have a wonderful day. And um, I'll upload this to YouTube. If you want to share it, it's easier to share it to team. And you have a good one. Bye.